This is Baba Amir, a district in the city of Homs, an anti-government stronghold and the scene of Syria's most intense fighting between government forces and rebel insurgents. The front line is situated on this main street. On one side, the regular Syrian army and their tanks. They are hiding in the surrounding buildings and their snipers are strategically placed all around. Facing them at every entrance to the district, the insurgents. Men equipped with a jumbled assortment of guns and dressed mostly in civilian clothing instead of uniforms. The majority deserted President Bashir al-Assad's army to join the resistance. I was in the 155th Division. I took my guns with me when I left. This is a Russian gun that was used in Chechnya. One of the deserters stole it from his superior before he left. The front line in Baba Amir is also marked by these buildings, which were bombed several weeks ago. This labyrinth of ruins allows the opposing sides to avoid having to confront each other out in the open. A war fought like a nasty game of cat and mouse that has been going on since October 2011. In Baba Amir, violent clashes occur every day. These men are aiming at a van that contains munitions, destined for Assad's soldiers who are in the building opposite. It is impossible for the rebels to salvage the munitions because of the danger from enemy fire. So they decide to destroy the van with the help of this heavy artillery. That's it. It's on fire. The van is burning. It has caught on fire. Thank you, God. God is great. This minor victory will have serious consequences for the inhabitants of Baba Amir in the days that follow. Who are the men that dare to defy the Syrian regime? What is their strategy? Who are their supporters, both at home and abroad? Are they terrorists, as Damascus claims? Or are they the resistance fighters that the opposition forces assure us they are? To find out, we spent one week with the men known as the Free Syria Army. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.